You mentioned a couple of times when we're on. Are you able to do that you know, this year? Yeah, I feel, I feel like I am. You know, if we go out and don't do well, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I mean, I sit in the, you know, the, in the daily meetings. I'm in with the offense probably 80% of the time. Um, but I do feel like once we uh, write, you know, with, with the extra time we have to prepare, you know, I kind of feel good about understanding what we're doing, and I don't feel too cramped now once we get into the season. I don't know if that would be the case, and I may want to see more um, during practice than, than I'm seeing right now, but I enjoy being down with, the, with those guys as much as I can, too. What have you thought, Hugh, about your, your wide receiver depth this camp has played out? Well, you know, it was, it was, a, it was a place where uh, – I felt like we had good depth if the young kids, you know, were able to pick up things. And, you know, I think Quincy and Laquan had something with Jordan has helped. Cody Core has had a good week in getting better. Um, you know, but Korvik is, is out now. I don't know if he, you know, he's going to be out for a few weeks. Uh, we had surgery with him yesterday to just try to get him healthy to, to try to, you know, hopefully he can get back to where he's full speed. What's his injury? He, he had a, some type of floating deal in his knee. I don't really okay. understand it. But, um, it's supposed to be just a four-week recovery deal. Um, and then Laquan, when I held out today, he's got some soreness. and Everybody's sore right now. So this weekend will be critical to hopefully uh, get a lot of that soreness gone. Well, we've seen Laquan do a lot of things in camp. Did Quincy go on and have the camp you thought he yep. would after his fast start? Yep, he had the... Uh, he was real high at the beginning, kind of went through a little valley, which is probably normal. And now I think he's uh, you know, back on the uprise uh, along with Cody. And uh, we're going to need both of those kids. Who kind of, who kind of steps in and takes on Corvette's snaps in the slot? Say, say it one more time. Who, who kind of replaces um, Corvette? Well, Jordan uh, is going to get some reps. And, of course, Laquan. Um, we're, we're not afraid, as you've seen, to, to move Evan Ingram around and those two or put a tail back there. Um, so what we're we'll kind of doing back to me. Which is a matchup Moore. advantage is having yeah, a guy Yeah, Collins Moore. Which is a matchup advantage is having a guy like LeBron, especially in the red zone. Well, I, I love his body. I mean, that's a big dude. You know, you don't realize how big he is until you stand beside him. So, you know, I do think that gives us some uh, – we would rather have some bigger bodies down there. So, I think being able to move him, Dante, and Jamez around, you know, particularly in the red zone, hopefully it's going to pay dividends for us. How important was Evan Swindle offensively to what you're trying to do in his experience? And yeah. just being well, anytime you're playing seniors up front that have been through the battles, I think it's, uh, you know, that, that experience is, is something you can't, you know, replicate. And uh, you know, making sure that we are getting the right calls, particularly for the young linemen are in there with them, uh, which they will be at times. So I think it's, uh, I think it's vital. And, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a great leader, too. No, but they're, they're definitely, you know, like I said, they're they going through all of Indo, but we're not letting them do it really full tilt the first grade. We just need to get them in. Charles. The Charles did it. So we'll get right now.